fairness and related uh, concepts such as accountability and transparency machine learning have certainly blown up as a research field. At the moment, some of the hardest and most meaningful questions are not about what can you do for particular definitions of fairness, but are still about finding the right definitions of fairness. To believe that these algorithmic systems by virtue of their accuracy and these prediction tasks are superior to human decision making. And this is where I think we have an inappropriate leap in our reasoning. But I think that a good starting point is to think about first, who you want fairness for, and second, if you're in a context in which machine learning algorithms are making decisions for people, what kinds of decisions constitute harm? And once you've answered those questions, you can start to ask that the algorithms are constrained such that the harms that they do are either minimized or at least evenly distributed across different populations. A while back, if you read papers in this space, they would say, oh, we've had systems that recommend Amazon products to us or Netflix shows or uh, you know, Spotify music or podcasts. Um, and those are benign use cases. What we really care about is these instances where we have life or death decision making um, or decision making that impacts access to opportunity. So these might be situations and criminal justice, child welfare. Um, employment, education, consumer lending, so on and so forth. And there's a temptation that when we start automating decision making, that we might just think, well, um, the very fact of automation is a guarantee of fairness. For a variety of reasons, bias and unfairness can creep into natural parts of the machine learning pipeline without any kind of malicious intent. With fairness, I think these questions are just fundamental and foundational. Uh, we know that these issues arise anytime we seek to deploy algorithms um, in high stakes settings um, or to make systematic decisions in ways that we haven't seen before. And without a theoretical understanding of the properties of these systems, we might not be able to produce uh, optimal or even reasonable or properly guided solutions going forward. The kinds of algorithmic misbehavior that we've seen in recent years are in large part the unanticipated and unintended side effects of the standard machine learning pipeline. What we really need to move towards is a sort of algorithm in the loop or human in the loop view of these hybrid socio-technical systems, where what we're trying to do at the end of the day is promote better, less discriminatory outcomes. And those outcomes will depend both on properties of the algorithm, but also of, uh, at the end of the day, the human decision maker who is taking that information, however it is presented, um, and incorporating that into the decision making process. This is a challenging problem, but an important one, and I think one that will see computer scientists collaborating more and more with economists and other social scientists who are used to thinking about, for example, the equilibrium effects of policy interventions. So we need to think really carefully about what are algorithmic systems actually optimizing for and how do we build systems that optimize for the things that we care about to the extent that the current ones that seek to promote accuracy do not. The reason that we're concerned about discrimination in a lot of cases is because we have a pattern of historical discrimination, that historical discrimination or bias is reflected in the data. And by the time we get to a place in our society where we're generating human decisions and data that isn't contaminated by bias, we probably won't be as concerned about the algorithmic forms of discrimination either. Mm -hmm.